Hi guys! Stanley Orr here, and I wanted to show you what I've done this week on Caffeinated Dragonware. Uh, well, more like what I tried to do these past two weeks, but didn't get a lot done, because it was a little busy. Um, so if you don't know, while my wife is working on our main game, Exit Stage Left, I am working on a side project in RPG Maker MV, a fantasy game that I plan to release. It's basically going to be a game where you play as a dragon running a cafe. During the day, you'll be managing the restaurant, taking customers' orders, etc. So it's like a tycoon game. But at night, it turns into a tower defense game where you have to defend your restaurant from a bunch of invading pests like, uh, humans. <laughs> You know, it would be uh, nice to do that. <laughs> nice one, Stanley. They'll never know you just improvised this entire thing and didn't write a script now, you genius. So in RPG Maker MV itself, what I've done is tinkered around more with the uh, enemy spawning, or well, just event spawning feature that I tested in the previous episode. You know, I figured, well, you're going to have to go in there and place furniture and stuff in your restaurant. You might have to do that. So, doody doody do, I'm walking around my restaurant. Oh, hey, look right here. I think it's a good place to put a leather chair. Yeah, but that's about as far as I got with this feature. I can't even get the chairs to face the correct way, so, yeah. Next! Now, what I feel like is the most important thing I've done this this time around is, uh, let me show you here, I planned out, I used Toon Boom Harmony because I'm just, it was easy, it was there. So the first thing you're going to see when you open up the game are the opening logos and the main menu, of course. Then on the new game screen, you can choose what mode you want the game to be in, the difficulty, etc., all the little options that you want. Then we go to the world map where you can choose the starting location for your cafe, whatever city you want it to be in and stuff. For the tycoon aspect, you're going to just like do the normal tycoon things. Then we have statistics at the end of the day showing how you did. Then the nighttime tower defense kicks in where you place turrets and defend your base and stuff. Then the nightly stats happen. And it repeats. That's the basic gameplay loop done. And then last thing I worked on, which was a major failure, <laughs> I whipped up these sprites of Charles, the cafe owner, and uh, what he looks like. And I thought, oh, this is pretty cool, but this is as far as I got. I basically took my concept up for him and shrunk him down because I lost the CGI model I made a few months ago. I don't know where that went. It's gone. It vanished into thin air. So I'm left without that, and I'm kind of unsure what I want to do at this point as far as generating sprites goes. Because I was going to do a simple walk cycle for this, but I just felt so defeated after trying to come up with a basic walk cycle for Charles, because it is hard. It is really hard to make it consistent with a character I've pre-designed like this and get things working, so hopefully I'll be able to do something else uh, next time you see me. Uh, but that was a bit difficult. I'll have something else for you by the time you come back. I, look, I even forgot look at this, I even forgot to draw his tail on in this back-facing view, so that's not good. But yeah, that's where we're at right now, guys. Sorry if this doesn't have as much detail or content as you would like. I, I can only do a little bit. Next time you should have more from me. And uh, in two weeks from now, Lisa will be back to talk about some really good stuff in regards to our actual main game, Exit Stage Left. Be sure to check it out. You're really going to love it. See you in two weeks, guys.